Okay, so I wanted to, to, to do a demo on creating a composition that consists only of curves. Basically just curved lines, not straight lines. So first off, I'm going to find something that interests me that I'm going to base the composition on, which is this Buddha character. I just did a search for Buddha. So I'm going to start this in Photoshop. I'm going to right click on this image here, copy image, and then go into Photoshop, select new, hit OK, and paste that image right into Photoshop. So this is going to be the basis for my design. I'm going to go to the layers palette here and reduce the opacity of that. somewhere around 18% is good. And then I'm going to click on this lock here, this little lock icon in the layers palette. And I'm doing that so I don't nudge the layer as I'm working or mess up in any way. So I just want to click on that little lock icon. That's going to basically protect this base layer. And then I'm going to click on a new layer a little piece of paper icon and this is where I can get started. So while I'm in Photoshop um, there's a couple ways to create just curved lines. The easiest way is just to use your brush tool and there's a new smoothing feature so if I kick this smoothing feature up to 100% it's up here in the toolbar and then click the gear icon and say pull string mode Basically, that's going to just let me draw on the canvas, and I'm going to reduce my brush size by hitting the left square bracket key. And now I can kind of draw a line like that, and it will be a nice smooth line. Now here, I'm going to zoom out, undo that one, and then I'm going to start this line. And actually, I'm going to try another option here. I'm going to say adjust for zoom. Uh, or let's see. I'm going to try this um, other option here called uh, stroke catch up. So it should create a, a line uh, that this purple line or magenta line basically is controlling that stroke. If that was not turned on if, and if smoothing was set to 0%, then you would not get a um, smooth line. You would get something jaggedy that would be following basically your hand gesture. But here I'm just creating a really smooth line. So I'm just drawing with curved lines. You know, so if you do like a, spir a spiral, spiral effect, it's gonna keep that nice and smooth. You know, branching effects. And I'm just creating a design. I'm using the image as a foundation, but I'm just kind of creating something new out of it. It's using that image as a basis for the design, but I'm not really directly copying it.
what I want to do as I'm working is just explore different line widths and different line relationships. So um, here I just lower the the width of the line, the, the um, diameter basically of the brush by using once again my left uh, square bracket key. So using this um, smoothing feature, really lets me create some really nice smooth lines, which I, which would be hard to do in previous versions of uh, Photoshop. Here I'm just zooming in as I work, maybe make, making that line even thinner. And then if I go over and I overlap in some areas, I'll just use my eraser tool. Hit E for eraser and select... Um, as the eraser type the brush and again just make it small using that left square bracket and then erase some of these lines that overlap just to clean it up a little bit So like any overlapping areas, I just think it looks a little nicer if you go back and clean some of those up. Then hit B for brush and keep on adding more. So really you're just using the base image as your template slash inspiration and then you're just adding curves to make something new and different. You know, you're deviating from that base image. To come up with a new unique design. You know, once you're done, just make sure you turn off that base image. Here, I would definitely keep on going. Um, keep on adding more, more curves to this, uh, making it more interesting. But as you see, there's no straight lines, um, just curve lines. And that's using the smoothing function of the brush tool. And in this circumstance, I have smoothing set to 100%, stroke catch up, and adjust for zoom uh, turned on.